Hello everyone and welcome back to Eat Sleep Brief. So today I'm going to be covering a video that a few people have been asking a follow-up video on and that is the Aquamax HOB1 uh, skimmer. So if you guys have followed me, you saw, especially if you follow my videos, you've seen I did an initial open box review as well as an install review. And I went ahead and been running this skimmer for quite a while now. I'd say enough to feel comfortable enough to do, <coughs> excuse me, a review for you guys to give you guys my final thoughts on it. Um, all in all, the skimmer has been, the skimmer has been doing a great job of exporting nutrients. I mean, you can see here my coral garden uh, really speaks for it. All my corals have been very happy. Um, a lot of that success I have to do is due to the skimmer. Uh, for you guys that are or aren't aware, a skimmer is kind of the heart of your filtration. Um, it's what removes a lot of stuff that even mechanical stuff cannot remove uh, as far as not uh, nitrates, just excess nutrients and just overall uh, bad water quality. Uh, so I have to say the Aquamax has done a great job. Here you can kind of see, um, before I install it, if you guys are paying attention for the outlet pipe, you can see I added a white PVC. I think it's three quarters. Uh, the reason I had to do this in my tank because the water, the output was higher than my water level. So you can actually hear it splashing. So I've went ahead and extended it. Again, you can see it by the, the white PVC. Um, you can see it right here. And all the reason I did that is to make sure the outlet is under the water uh, so I don't hear it splashing everywhere. Uh, but all in all, that's really the only thing I've had to do to this skimmer. Uh, I don't think you're gonna have to do it to every tank. It really just depends your overall water level um, of the, the uh, sump. Um, but I do have to say, other than that, the skimmer has been pretty much straightforward. I really have no complaints uh, to really talk about, bad about it at all. Uh, you can kind of see it here running. Um, it's just a great skimmer, very easy to clean um, as far as the cup. You can see this is like the first few minutes of me installing it. The things are ready pulling out skim mate. Uh, typically skimmers need a few weeks to break in. I mean, this thing wasn't messing around. Uh, as soon as I threw it in, it was just kind of grabbing uh, nasty stuff already out of the water. I'm just overall very happy with it. Uh, you can kind of see it here in action. So we are going to be covering a few points that I think are very important in a skimmer as far as what I look for in it. Uh, so we're, we'll be getting to that shortly. But before we get into that, check this skimmate out, guys. I don't think I've ever in my life seen skimmate this. Like you can't even see through this water. It's literally black. Like you can't see anything. Um, it, don't even ask how it smells. It smells absolutely horrible. I mean, check, look at this, guys. This is just gunk. If it wasn't for the skimmer, all this would still be in my water column. Uh, my fish would be having to, to breathe it, you know, in and out. Uh, my corals would, you know, have to be dealing with it. And just overall, it wouldn't be the best environment for my tank. Um, just look at this, guys. I mean, I don't, I just, if you saw this in person and just got to smell it, this stuff was absolutely uh, nasty. One thing I do like about the skimmer, when it is working, you can clearly see here, just look at all the gunk the foam is grabbing out. Um, it just really does a great job and uh, no complaints on that. Here you can kind of see me uh, doing some maintenance on it as far as I could. Just, just look at that, guys. It's absolutely nasty. Uh, if you are emptying this out, do it either in a sink you don't use like the laundry or do it in the toilet because uh, this stuff really smells bad. As far as cleaning the skimmer, it's very straightforward. Um, you can see that the cup is very simple to clean. It's a big cup. Um, so I, I really have no complaints about you know cleaning it. Uh, it's a skimmer that's very easy to maintain uh, as far as the cleaning cup, so I highly recommend it. And guys, if all that wasn't enough, just check out this gunk on the neck. I mean, oh man, this, this stuff is really just absolutely nasty. Um, so, I mean, if if you don't believe me, hopefully the, 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 these uh, these views in the in the video really show you how nasty it is. Um, but this is the Tunzi 9004. This is a previous skimmer. Uh, you can see it is overall a tint uh, of dark, the cup is. So it's not 100% clear, which is why it kind of looks like it's dark, but it's actually not. It's just like a yellowish. Also, you can see on the foam, we don't get a lot of stuff being pulled out of it. Um, it does a good job. Uh, it's not a bad skimmer, um, but I really think the HOB1 just obliterates this Tunzi skimmer. Again, I, I don't want to talk trash about the Tunzi. It does a good job for what it is. But if you want a skimmer that's going to be no BS, just straight up work and pull out just gunk after gunk after gunk, uh, I highly recommend the HOB1. Um, another th good thing I like about the HOB1, it's not as small as this cup. This cup here, I have to, I had to empty it like 
once every fourth day. Um, so I kind of wasn't happy with that. The HOB one, it will last about a week. Because um, after this, you can see the foam gets really high and then it, it kind of starts uh, lifting the little uh, lid. So right at this point, I would typically have to empty it. Um, but like I said, all in all, I don't want to talk too much. You know, I don't want it to feel like I'm talking trash about it. It's a, a good skimmer. But if you're looking to pull out nasty skimmate, the HOB one is certainly for you. So a few points I'm going to be covering. One uh, point we're going to be covering is sound, uh, then the footprint, followed by skimming. Um, also want to talk about nitrates, um, nutrients to be more uh, more direct, uh, followed by bio load. Um, adjusting the skimmer um, and how that's affected by water level as well as maintenance. So starting off with sound, this by far was very important for me because my tank is in a living room uh, where there's quite a bit of people. There's always you know people coming in and out of there, especially when we're entertaining. So that's very important for me. The sound, I will have to say the HOB1 is just the hair quieter and like not by much but by very little um the the tunzi has a little bit more of a, a gurgling sound especially when you're trying to pull out a thick skimmate um oh that's another thing good thing we're talking about that i noticed that the tunzi it's very hard to pull out dry skimmate um it doesn't do a great job of, uh, of it. it it does better when it's wet skimmate um and again that's kind of to I, i've read the same thing in the forums it's just kind of the part of the design how it skims I'm not saying it's bad, it's just how it operates. So another thing I do want to cover is footprint. As far as footprint, I mean, this is pretty obvious. The Tunzi is surely a smaller skimmer. It's a lower profile skimmer, that's for sure. Um, in my tank, it fits very nicely in the back sump and very hidden, you can't see it at all. So as far as footprint, we obviously have to give it to the Tunzi. Um, it's a very small skimmer and it's pretty hidden, uh, but you know, Everything uh, comes with its advantages and, and disadvantages also knows it is uh, pros and cons. So talking about skimming, I think most of you are really care and this is probably most important to you. So which skimmer skims better? Hands down, the HOB1 is easily, I would say 60, 70, 80% a better skimmer. It pulls out wet skimmate if you want it pulling out wet, if you want it pulling out a little bit more dry. Um, I mean, you guys saw the, the, the black gunk for yourself. It's just absolutely nasty what it pulls out, but better being in the skimmer than in your water column, right? I think we can all agree there. So the next thing I do want to talk about is nutrients, nit nitrates and phosphates. I don't know if this has any correlation with anything else, guys, but I noticed after running the HOB1 um, Aquamax skimmer, my nutrient levels were decreased. I don't know if it was done, <clears throat> excuse me, 100% um, by the skimmer, but I do um, think a lot of it had to do with the skimmer, but I certainly did notice lower nitrate levels as well as phosphates uh, running the HOB1 versus the Tunzi. That's one thing I, I caught, and it took me a bit, a, you know, probably about a month and a half to see that uh, change. Um, so I do want to say that I did notice it effective positively uh, running that, that uh, uh, better skimmer. So I want to touch on bio load for you guys that are um, may or may not be aware. Your skimmer really depends on your on your bio load. The better skimmer you have, the more fish typically again, typically you can have. So that's a really thing about having the Aquamax. Um, it's rated for up to, I think, a, a heavy bio load of 60 gallon. A tank so in a 45 gallon tank I could have a lot more fish and it does a better job of exporting the nutrients as you guys saw um, so that's a really good thing to look at when choosing a skimmer um, if you tend to get a little bit bigger skimmer you typically can have a better uh, or a few more fish why because it obviously exports more uh, excess nutrients in the tank so another thing I do want to cover is adjustment as well as uh, how it's affected by water level I gotta say guys, that's, well, that was one of the most annoying things on the Tunzi. I always had to be adjusting it. Even though I had an auto top off on the same compartment that it was, it still always had to be adjusted. One thing I would absolutely hate, every time I, I would shut off my pumps, uh, my rear sump would fill up with water and I would always have to remove the cup. If I forgot to remove the cup, it would overfill and just drain back into the water, uh, my main water. So I really hated that about the Tunzi. That's one thing on the Aquamax being the hang on back skimmer. It doesn't care if I shut off the pumps when I'm feeding, it can still stay on, it can be skimming. Uh, so that's one thing I do love and I 100% do not miss at all from the Tunzi. So 
The last thing I want to cover is maintenance and I'm going to have a specific video on the maintenance for the HOB1 in the future. You guys saw um, I briefly show it here. I'm kind of doing some basic clean but as far as maintenance is, is concerned um, they're both really easy. The Tunzi isn't that difficult. You know the cup comes right off but I do like the little bit bigger cup on the Aquamax HOB1 just makes it a little bit easier to clean. Um, the neck is bigger, so again, it makes for my big hands to fit in there to, to clean it properly. Um, but all in all, I say they're both very easy to clean. Um, neither of them is difficult, just I noticed the HOB one's a little bit better. So guys, that's going to be pretty much it for today's video. I really hope I was able to cover a lot of your topics and hopefully make your decision make a little bit easier for the skimmer. Um, I'd say lighting, um, water flow, and skimmer are a big part of, of you know setting up a tank. Uh, so it's very important you take your time as far as skimmer and guys for a skimmer i'd always recommend to go a little bit bigger um, you can you know always dial it down have it skim a little bit wetter um, but yeah i i highly recommend the aquamax hob uh, one skimmer for you guys that are on the fence it's it's an animal i mean i think this video should speak for itself it's a great skimmer i mean at the price point it's 100 percent a great skimmer for you guys that do read online you'll probably see the reviews for themselves um, you know, you'll, you'll probably get kind of the same feedback over there. Um, now this skimmer is rated for tanks, I think anywhere from about 20 gallons up to um, 60 to 70 gallons. I have seen guys run them on 10 gallon tanks. Um, you shouldn't have an issue. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the, the, the rating as far as the skimmer is concerned. Uh, so you kind of have a broad range uh, to run them in, especially if you have all in one tanks, it, it sticks on the back. Um, and it's really nice. I really like the, the look they did with the blue. Um, so to my eyes, it's not a nice sort and I love it. So we're going to end the video here, guys. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down in the comment box below. I'm going to have a link uh, to this product. Uh, you guys can purchase it at Marine Depot. And we're going to leave it here, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys all for watching, especially if you stayed till the end. If you did stay till the end, leave me a comment down below. I'd love to see you um, hardcore guys that watch my videos to the end. I really appreciate it. So leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about the video. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Happy reefing.